Addressing the Orongo Regional Improvement Strategic Plan review meeting, Andre pointed out that this signals an unfavorable state of academic achievement, hence the need for urgent action to enhance outcomes as the final examinations draw near. We are here to self-introspect, and I want to take on what the pastor mentioned, that we need to weep. And I think that is what we have seen. So on the staying of uh, the pastor, we say, let's weep for the state of our education, weep for your classroom, weep for your school, weep for your circuit, weep for your constituency. Because it's for the, ch for, it's for the future of the Namibian child and also the country at large. The country, Andre says, stands on the brink of substantial opportunities that demand proficient Namibian professionals. Thus, they must equip the youth to govern the nation and harness its prospects. In conclusion, reviewing the results of both junior secondary and secondary school education is an imperative step towards redefining success and building a stronger and more relevant education system. By, by, by prioritizing the holistic development of learners, providing them with practical skills, and broadening our perception of success, we can create an environment where learners thrive and reach their full potential. The Regional Director of Education, Arts and Culture, Erfrieda Stefanis, and Beneth Kaibeb, Education's Forum Chairperson, spoke at the occasion. It's not only about performance. We are preparing learners and it should be holistic. And I'm more concerned about the regional support that is supposed to ensure that efficiency is taking place in our schools by providing a conducive environment for the schools to provide quality education. Triple S, it's a family. That includes the parents, includes the teachers, includes the learners, includes the community that, I have, that have the interest of that school. We have picked up dysfunctional families at schools. When a family is dysfunctional, the kids in the homes start to misbehave.